There's really nothing in here, huh? Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh my god, it's an army of those weird baby things. I'm gonna trust my radio. My radio says they're enemies. Oh, you... you can't attack them. That is so eerie! What are they? What are these squeaky... squeaky toy... baby phantoms? Those are real good enemies. I love them. In the sense that I hate them and that's perfect. Classroom, classroom, stairs down. I don't like the noise happening in the background. Look at how creepy this view is. Just this right here. An almost completely dark classroom. You can see some of the desks. But most of them you can't. Most of them are obscured. You can barely see anything. That's just really creepy to me. I love that dithered look. I'm weirdly loving the dithering. I mean, I have no doubt that if at the time uh, this game could have been not dithered and would have had 32 bits per for color per pixel or whatever it is that makes it not dithered like this, I have no doubt that if that was an option, they would have done it. So I don't think they, you know, were like, yeah, it's got to be dithered because that's part of the aesthetic. But for me, it really adds to it. Pig. Big mood. <laughs> Fuck, all right. Uh, I think this is, I think this is gun time. I'm already orange, actually. Let's... Should I use a full first aid kit? No, let's use one of these. God damn it! You know what? Uh, actually, you know what? I'm getting the hell out of there. Because actually, I, there's a very strong possibility of me dying if I stay. And I have not saved in a while. I'm going to assume... Fuck. Oh. Another baby thing. But also, not baby thing. You okay? Here's some squeaking. Right, well, my plan was to come in from the other end of the classroom outside, assuming the door is unlocked, but... I only have five shots in my pistol, which would probably be just enough to deal with them, considering one's already weakened. I guess I'll do it. Maybe. That's it. 
Oh shit, I'm red. Okay, medkit time. Wow, I'm like almost out of healing items now. I thought I had so many stocked up, but they go so fast. God, I hope there's ammo or something in here. I hope this wasn't a waste. Yes, there's ammo. a good piece of art. God, the noise is so disturbing, but I don't think there's any enemies. It's just, you know, a normal disturbing sound. Um, locker room and music room. I don't think I ever tried the other door. But this one's unlocked. What's that? The fuck is that? Hmm. Mm hmm. This is the locker room, right? Yeah. I see it moving at the very bottom right of the screen. Oh god, what is it? What is it? Kitty cat! Just a cat. Oh. I'm so sorry, kitty. <laughs> Nothing inside. Don't think there's any point in checking every single locker. kill anyone who killed that cat. But actually, is the cat even dead? Or is it? Hope it didn't get eaten. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it killed something else. Maybe? Maybe? Um, let's head over to the music room. Yeah, sure. That could be our next puzzle. If the time already advanced, just automatically. Once again, I love that lens flare. It's gonna be a music puzzle. It's written in blood, a tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican, as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot, next to another bird. Okay, so this one is a riddle. 
Finally, out comes a crow coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver reward? So I need to figure out which one got there first, I think. I just took pictures of all of that, by the way. How do I enter my password, though, is what I'm wondering. Uh, won't open. Odd. Doesn't look locked, though. Maybe I do need to change the time before I can do anything with it, then. Yeah. Most likely. Because that's definitely one of the puzzles, but I don't think it's time, quite literally, to do that puzzle yet. I believe that's... Yeah, it's even marked on the map just like the statue of hand, piano. I think that's everything on this floor. It is. So I can either go up to the next floor or try to access the bottom floor on the other side that I was never able to get before. Let's do that because I want to head to the save point. I desperately want to save. Remember, it's been like... It's been literally more than a half hour since I've saved, I'm pretty sure. so many of them. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, well there's just one, I think, left, so let's try this. Uh, I wasn't even looking at me, I thought I was safe. How am I doing on health? I'm still green, which probably means I'm almost dead. Yeah, so this was the side of the place of the, the down floor. <laughs> this was the side of the place, the down floor. Let me try that again. This was the side of the first floor that I was never able to access. Before we actually explore it, though, let's unlock this and go save. All right, now let's explore this side, which I think just, yeah, it's just got the two classrooms. That's it. Oh, no. Um, also down here, I can go down to the boiler room, too, which I couldn't do on the other side. Right, I really, really hope I don't encounter any more enemies before finding some more ammo. I don't know what that says, but it looks like a happy bear or dog or something. If there's enemies, I'm probably just going to run. Oh, we're good. Wolf, again. Nothing. That's just the other door to the same classroom. Here's the other classroom. Shit. Oh. Just a... weird baby thing. I feel so bad for them. They seem like they might be baby versions of the things that I have to fight. They look like they have tails. And keep tripping. So clumsy. I hope I'm not like making a new enemy for myself every time I scare those things.
Is this unlocked? There, now it's unlocked. Okay. Let's go down to the boiler room. I'm sure that won't be creepy at all. One of the puzzles is down there, I think. At least it's small. Gonna be a wheel turning puzzle. There's a switch. Do you want to press the switch? No, I don't. Appears to be broken. Are there any instructions? No. Valve is tightly shut, can't move it. Don't know what it's for, better leave it alone. Is that going to be the same for all of them? Yep. Okay, well, I guess I'll try to hit the switch. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing appears to happen. Yeah, so I don't think we're meant to do this puzzle just yet. Which I think means I should go check out the clock in the courtyard. Wait. Oh, this isn't the way I expect to be going. But this is fine. I can get at the courtyard from either way. Big door, big door, big door. Wrong big door. <laughs> oh, are there new enemies? Or is it just that creepy noise again? Ah, oh, it's just the noise. We're fine. You know, might as well put in my one key that I got. Golden medallion, picture of a clock tower, is engraved on a surface found in a chemistry lab. Oh, that's what I need to do to advance the time, right? It just sounded like it moved. Yeah, so I gotta come back and bring each part back to it. So, what time is it now? 1200. So the 1200 one should be the music room puzzle. I don't know if I can just head there and things will be different, like maybe the piano will just be open now. But there is one area I haven't explored yet, so I might as well do that. Um, I need to keep going upstairs to the last floor. Yeah, just, just the roof is all it is. Oh. My god. Look at how big that door is. That is an extraordinarily large door. Okay, well, let's go down to the music room. So I've just realized something that's kind of handy. You know how there's been a lot of situations where I'm looking a direction that the camera can't see? Like, right now, for example? 
And so I will use the special view thing that allows me to control where the view is. And then I tend to like wiggle it around and be like, uh, oh, oh, there we go. Well, it turns out I don't actually have to do that. I don't have to hold it down, this view thing, and then like wiggle it around. If you actually tap it, it will automatically, and unfortunately kind of slowly, but nonetheless automatically move to face behind your character. So if I just tap the special view thing, it does that, which takes away a lot of the disorientation from holding it down and then being like this when I spin around and then I'm looking at some weird angle. It's kind of cool looking the way that the way that works. Yeah, the way that goes behind the character, it doesn't feel like fake. It, it feels sort of like the movement an actual camera perhaps would make. So yes, it's open now and there's blood on the piano. Cool. Some blood on some of the keys. Does this mean anything? Check the piano, yes. Oh. Weird. It's giving me a, a cursor. Why a cursor? Well, got some nice percussive beats. That or it's just one of the notes doesn't work. It's like five or six of the notes don't work. Oh, you have no idea how clever I feel. I solved that by myself. It was actually kind of hard. It took me a while to figure out where I was supposed to go with it, but I did it all by myself. I will explain in just a second, by the way. Right, let's go change time, huh? Oh. There's new enemies. Okay, I'm just gonna run past you, or not. Yeah, these definitely weren't here before. Get- oh my god, get out of my way, please. Wow. Okay, try number two to get past these bastards. Ho hold on. I guess I should heal right now. Oh, I don't even have a med kit. I just got the one health drink. Okay. And remember, I have no ammo for the for the gun, so can't shoot him. Okay. Whew. There aren't new enemies out here, too. are stopped at five o'clock. That is one hell of a noise it's making. Or maybe that's all just music. Fuck, I don't know. Um, let me pause it and see what the five o'clock riddle says. Ah, right. So the five o'clock one is the boiler thing. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. So I think I need to go do the boiler thing, which probably will now be open now that it's the correct time. And then I think once I complete it, it'll open the clock tower door. Let's see if I can actually survive. Um, yeah, there's no enemies around here. Here's what I'm wondering. If I go back this way... Well, actually, wait. Let me look at the map. Yeah, I kind of need to go back that way, sort of. Technically, I don't. But remember the bottom right is where the entrance to the basement is. So I could go all the way around. 
if I want to not face those enemies. Assuming there's no new enemies in other places, but I mean, <laughs> there probably are. So... I'm gonna try to go back the same way I came in. Yes! Oh, that was so close. Holy shit. It lunged at me, but it didn't catch me. Ah. Oh. Right, so, oh, this is glowing now. Awaken the beast. The boiler is working. Okay, can't be that simple though, right? Surely I must do something with these. Maybe not? Could that seriously be it? And this door never opened, right? Yeah. Right, well, I don't want to go back into that room. Do I have to? No. This door. Down here. It shows it's locked, but that's just because I haven't unlocked it from this end. I think I did that in the, the uh, save where I died. So then it got unmade when I loaded my save game. This one. Yes. No. Where am I going? I don't like this. I just went into a tiny door in a clock tower. Oh, fuck that noise. And I just went down a bunch of creepy stairs into a very rusty dark place and I hear the Silent Hills sirens. You know what I love about Silent Hill? Just, like, speaking generally, what I love about it from little bits that I've seen here and there, but also from what just happened here, is that progress feels bad. In a really interesting way. I mean, it kind of feels good and bad. You know, you need to progress. You need to find these keys and do all these things to continue in the game and get closer to the end. So in some sense, it feels good. Like it was satisfying to solve that puzzle. It's satisfying to turn on the boiler and come down here. But it also simultaneously makes me feel terrible because it's like, yay, I unlocked a door. And then I go through the door and I'm like, I don't really like what the fuck is behind this creepy ass door. I hate this. <laughs> Just like this one. So progress simultaneously feels kind of good and also feels awful. Look at how low the ceiling is. I'm almost hitting it with my head. Jesus Christ. You know what? I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Nice cliffhanger, because I don't know what the hell's going to happen next, but it's not going to be good. It's also a nice thing about using an emulator, because obviously I haven't saved, but I have it set to just automatically do a save state when I exit the game, so when I load it back up, I will be right here in the exact same spot. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and thanks for watching.